Hello and welcome. Indeed they are here. And today we are at Borton on the water. And we're actually doing an overnight stay. It's rather busy on this uh, Sunday, 29th of September. We're just heading to the chip shed to get some food. Not long arrived here at Borton. Checked in, did a little quick video of the room. And we thought we'd set off and go and explore. Always a beautiful place to come and visit. So I'm just gonna get, go and get some chips and I'll be back with you. So I've had the traditional fish and chips with mushy peas and there we have battered sausage with chips and we have the curry sauce as well. Looks very tasty. So we just finished our fish and chips, we was just up that way. We've crossed over and just come across this post office and look at the ornaments the post office as on display some really snazzy items and it is just a normal post office it's quite uh, well, extraordinary And I know it's a bit early, but there is a Christmas shop here. But they also have pumpkins and stuff on display for Halloween. We'll have a little uh, stroll around and see what else they've got nice inside. Beautiful. I'm a little bit windswept, it is quite windy. So we're just heading away from the Christmas market and we're just here by the old new inn. And we're heading to the model village. There is one of the many bridges at Borton. It's quite nice in there. So the model village is this way. Open now the entrance. So here we are in the model village. And that is the process. So we've just got to the model village. Wow! <laughs> this is amazing. We've got a little housing estate just down here.
and we've got an exhibition through there where they actually make the models So what I'm going to do, I'm only going to show you a little bit of this. I'm not going to take you all the way around. So I'm going to stop filming now. And uh, hopefully encourage more people to come down and view the little model town. It looks absolutely beautiful. And it's only £4.50 a person. So we just come from the miniature village. We've also had a little drink in the old new inn. And now we're just walking. <laughs> ah, little ducky. It's an on the wee park down that way. But uh oh, thank you. So yes, it is very beautiful. They have done the uh, button on the water before. Never in the autumn time. It's always been summer. So it's nice to see the leaves change into that yellowy orangey colour. That duck is speeding down. He's got places to be. Another one just there. So we're going to head back to the hotel and freshen up, and then we'll probably come out later on this evening. But uh, I'll uh, I'll carry on filming for a while. It's been some time since I've done a video. I was looking back. I think it's like 12 days, 13 days since last time I did a video. And that was the movie review, which I kind of enjoyed. I will be doing them again. So you've got green and pleasant tea rooms there, that looks really nice. So I'm going to end the video just here, and I'll be back once we reach the hotel. So this is our room at the Chester House Hotel, the Chester House Hotel in Borton on the Water. I'll just zoom out to touch. There we go. So lovely bit of furniture there. Old style telephone. Lovely big bed with towels. Got another set uh, chair there lovely bench and we have a menu with a lovely big mirror bit of shelving we've got TV there and a lovely little area here for tea and coffee and drinks some beautiful artwork as well I'll just take you to the window got the blinds up but just out there, there is Borton on the water. And then there's a little step just here. And this is the bathroom. It is really, really nice. It smells very clean and fresh. A window here as well. Oh, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit of an attic up there. Ah, never saw that before. And just here, if I just open these doors, got wardrobe space, a little heater. There's a little note there. Can you ensure that the heater is switched off before leaving the room? Little fan. We've even got extra pillar 
and I think a blanket in there. I think it might just be pillars though. And there's also a big mirror just here. So very spacious indeed. So yes, this is the room. Very impressed. So we're back out. We've just had some tea. The food at the hotel is lovely. Unfortunately, it is a rather windy and wet night. I've got my brolly. But we're going to have a little walk and see what boating on the water is like at night. As you can see the croft is all lit up. When I was walking here earlier, this place was absolutely heaving. And now it's all rather quiet. There's no one around. There's the fish and chip shop just over there. And there's another pub just here. It, everything is lovely and lit up. <laughs> oh yeah. There's all the Halloween decorations in the window. Boughton on the water by night. Absolutely beautiful. I've got to say the temperature has dropped. It is really cold tonight. Just come from a nice warm, lovely little hotel. Had some amazing food, a lovely pudding. Now having a evening stroll. Oh. Whoa, the wind need to the brolly then. Trying to recognise things in the dark is a lot different to trying to see things when it's daylight. So we've just gone past the Vicarage Hall, Vicarage Hall I should say, and we're going to head over this bridge here. There's another pub just there. Oh, so we've decided we're going to carry on and go over the next bridge. There's an ice cream parlour just there. And we've got another pub here. The Rose Tree. People eating the, the supper. The War Memorial is just there. So we're going to cross over here, right in front, that is the car museum. And I think I mentioned on the last video I was here, it, this was used for the opening scene of the TV series Brum. A classical kids TV series from the early 90s. And the water here is flowing rather, rather quick. Although it is a bit hard to see. I've got another beautiful street just up there. And there's another pub there. So in front, that is the car museum. And we have another pub here, the Willow. Oh dear. So 
so there's a sign Cotswolds Motoring Museum every time I come down I'm always meaning to pop into there but I never end up going in so yes this is the Cotswolds by night beautiful shame it's raining but uh, the wet floor uh, the light glows off it so it adds to a rather nice effect and there is the willow what would you say the time is? so it's about quarter past eight on an evening Sunday evening I should say so we're now going to head back down here and uh, there's the war memorial it is rather a wet and unpleasant night it's freezing Ooh. I'll be glad to get back into the hotel and warm up. Oh, so glad I brought me brolly. So I'm just going to wait for the wife blesser I'll steam off ahead in front you see sometimes when, especially when I'm filming and I don't realise how quick I walk a lovely bit of signage there Borton on the water it is beautiful do you want to cross over here? So, just had to pause and take a photo. We're going to walk down this bit here and over the last bridge. It is cold, wet, and miserable. But the scenery is beautiful. It's so peaceful as well and someone has got a bit of music playing in the car hopefully no copyright is going to be issued on that so I'll just quickly walk past so all the shops have lit up as well if you can just see there oh. and there's a really snazzy looking sweet shop just down here there's the fish shop the chip shed the food in there was amazing, that's where we had our dinner. It was beautiful. And there's a candy shop just here. And there's the Cotswolds sheepskin shop. We went in there as well, it was quite nice. And down that street there, that is where the Christmas shop was that I popped into. Oh. Now, I'm gonna cross back over the bridge now and head back towards the hotel oh it's been a rather brisk walk just what i needed yeah look at this this is beautiful make sure i don't get run over this bridge is used as a road as well so that is beautiful Oh, sorry about that. The uh, I had to move out the way there was a car coming. So now we're going to head back down here to the hotel. I shall vi finish the video in the hotel, I think. But yes, this is the hotel just in front. Beautiful place. Chester House Hotel. The food's amazing, the staff are really friendly, and the room is beautiful. I have done a little video on it as well, which I will put 
be putting into this video if that makes sense so I'll see you all back in the room so we just got back to the room and uh, gonna turn in for the night watch a bit of telly and be up bright and early in the morning for breakfast and start filming again so I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you all again tomorrow good night